A submarine descends to a depth of 80 meters below the surface of water. The density of water is 1,040 kilograms per meter cube. Atmospheric pressure is 1.02 times 10 power 5 pascals. B. On another dive, the submarine experiences a total pressure of 7.2 times 10 power 5 pascal. A hatch cover on the submarine has an area of 3 meters square. Calculate the force on the outside of the cover. A simple question. You have 7.2 times 10 power 5 pascal. This is the pressure. You also have an area, which is 3 meters square. In the question, he's asking for the force. So what is the equation that links between these three quantities? Its pressure equals force over area. But because you need the force, you must make some modifications to this equation. You will make it force equals pressure times area. The pressure is 7.2 times 10 power 5 pascals, according to the question. Also, the area is 3 meters square. This is a given in the question. This means that the force will be 2.2 times 10 power 6. And do not forget the unit. As long as pressure is measured in pascals, this is the standard unit. And the area is measured in meters square. This is also the standard unit of the area. The force will be in newtons. Newtons. Newtons is the standard unit for measuring force. Question C. The submarine undergoes tests in fresh water of density 1000 kilograms per meter cube. Explain why the pressure on the submarine is less at the same depth. If you look in the previous question, the density of seawater was 1,040. Fresh water is less dense. It's 1,000 kilograms per meter cube. This smaller density makes the pressure to be smaller. If we apply the rule, P equals dGH, where P is pressure, D the density, G is the acceleration due to gravity 10 meters per second square, H is the depth. When the submarines moves from seawater to freshwater, G is the same. Also, depth is the same. This is mentioned in the question. But density of freshwater is smaller. This is why the pressure will be smaller.